Hey, it's Jason. I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to try something a little different and talk about the glory days of Magic the Gathering. So I was a big player in 1994 and 1995, and I tried to rebuild my old tournament deck. So I was going to go through that and show just kind of which cards are still available, which cards are no longer available, and which cards are legal in a couple of modern formats. So let's have at it. So my old tournament deck was what you would call mono black, which is a tiny bit of white in there, and I'll explain why in a minute. But I gotta say first off, you know, in 1994-95, it wasn't uncommon to have the full set of Moxes and the Lotus. You know, you could have one of each in every deck, and a lot of us did have one of each in every deck, and it was kind of cool when you could buy a black Lotus for the same price as a Shivan Dragon. Those days are obviously long gone. So for a substitute, Lotus Petal. It's legal in Legacy, and it's restricted to one in Vintage. It's such a good card. I picked up like five of these, and they were about a quarter of a piece, so I usually throw one in every casual deck just for fun, but come on, zero mana for it works just like a Lotus, only gets you one mana. So that right away would not work in Modern or Standard. Felden's Cane. Pretty much the same thing. I used to throw one of these in every deck. Not legal in modern or standard either. Not looking so good. So, I said a little bit of white. Back in the day, you couldn't have a deck without disenchants. So you'd use the original dual lands. Well, you can't really pick up four scrub lands without spending a fortune. But the next best thing is Godless Shrine, and I like this one because it's a Plains and Swamp, so that'll help the Nightmares. And Disenchant is available, or is legal in Standard and Modern, and Godless Shrine is legal in Modern, but not in Standard. Let me try to make some piles here. And then we have Dark Ritual. My old black deck was built around Dark Ritual and the Lotuses, or the Lotus and the Moxes. I filled it up with creatures you could get out early, assassins and non-spectres and, and uh, vampires. <laughs> so I looked up the legality of Dark Ritual and... What the what? You're going to tell me Dark Ritual, which has been reprinted a million times in various sets, is not legal in Standard or Modern? That's very frustrating and it really hurts the theme of this deck. But let's move on. So that's kind of a bust. We've got the Spectres, as I said, because of the Dark Rituals and the Lotus. You know, sorry to be the nostalgic old guy, but I remember one time, you know, I, I had to turn my, my opening hand because of Dark Ritual and the Lotus. I had two not Spectres out in the first turn. Or one time I've had, I think I had a Spectre and a Vampire in the first round. And those were the fun times. Hypnotic Spectres are legal in modern, but not in standard. Royal Assassins, also legal in modern, but not in standard. I see Manipulator. You need that for the Assassins. So unless I'm having a Mandela Effect episode right now, I swear these were limited to one per deck. Now it looks like they are legal and not restricted in Legacy and Vintage. They are legal and modern, so they could work with the Assassin. Sanger Vampire. You know, I know now it seemed like an overpriced card as far as five to cast it and just a 4-4 four, four flyer, but back then flyers were everything. Sanger Vampires, I still have nostalgia, nostalgia about them, and I still think the original art is the best. They are also legal in modern, but not in standard. We got Vampire Bats. I used them from Legends back then, and I just picked up a cheap 10th edition printing here. They're legal in modern, also not in standard. All of these are legal in Legacy and Vintage so far. Will of the Wisp, also great. I know an 01 Flyer with Regenerate isn't that big a deal, but one mana, and then you throw in four Bad Moons, and you've got a pretty strong defense there. Will-O-Wisps are legal in modern and not standard. 
and bad moons. Bad moons are funny. Sometimes they cost a lot and sometimes they don't. I got these for dirt cheap and they are not legal in either format, which is really bad and it hurts this deck. It doesn't hurt it as much as losing Dark Ritual does, but it really does hurt it. So it's kind of surprised because these have been reprinted too. And they're not that, I don't know, you'd think they'd be legal. Okay. Okay, so I had Demonic Tutor, and that back then was limited to one. Right now, I believe it is still restricted to one in Vintage. Diabolic Tutor does the same thing, just costs two extra mana. Diabolic Tutor looks like it is legal in Modern, and it is not restricted in Legacy or Vintage. So I guess if you want four of those, for whatever reason, you could. Unholy Strength, you know, that with the Will-O-Wisps and the uh, Black Knights and, and Hypnotic Specters just really help power this deck as well. And Unholy Strength is legal in Modern and again, not in Standard. So is anything legal in Standard? Like seriously, Disenchant is my only Standard legal card in this old deck. That's crazy. I threw in two Black Knights. You know, sometimes I'd use Drain Lifes instead of Black Knights or Vampire Bats, and sometimes I'd have four Black Knights, and it just kind of depended on the opponent. But Black Knights, you know, two mana for 2-2 two -two with first strike back then was a big deal. Even without the protection from white, it was still a powerful card, and then you stick on a Holy Strength, you got a 4-3 guy with first strike? Come on. They are legal in modern, but not in standard. Nightmares, okay, I picked these up cheap too. Two original art, I think 4th edition, and two M15 edition. You know, it's not just the art. It's the layout of the old cards. It's so much cooler than the new cards, I think. But, you know, it's functionally. It's it's the exact same card. Nightmares were always my, my pet. They are legal in modern and not in standard, just like everything else. And that is it. The rest of this is basic land. So, so as we see, standard format isn't even an option for a deck like this. And really, modern would be okay, but without the Moxes and Lotus, obviously, and without the Lotus Petal, without the Dark Rituals, there's really nothing standing out about this deck. So if I was going to continue using a deck like this, you almost have to go vintage. You know what? Hold that thought. <sighs> Getting a second home mortgage is a lot easier in this economy than I thought it'd be. So if we're gonna go vintage, we're gonna go vintage. So don't ever say, I don't know how to party. Well, and that, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this trip down memory lane. It was kind of fun looking at these old cards. I'd really like to know how you think a deck like this would stack up in today's standards. You know, assuming these cards were legal, how would a deck like that comp compete in standard or modern? Would it just get annihilated to the new cards or would it have too many spoilers? And if you're an old school player, I'd love to hear what kind of decks you used to play with back in the day. So. That's it for now. I'll be back next week with a regular old video, so be sure to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching.